see that? The band. All right, this is a knife, y'all. I'm going to take a look at this. All right. So bad. The worst part is so that nobody bad. hears him call out the nobody character. Nobody call out anything. You just did that on your own. What are you talking about, son? Jeez. You know damn well I don't do this uh, on my own. Welcome to What the Fuck is in the Box. I love when you say that. I have Eric with me today. Am I Eric? He's Eric. He's right, somebody. I'll do an Eric impression. Eric, what'd you bring? Uh, we brought the GG6 oh. from True Audio. In-ceiling speaker. I actually have these in my house. You do? I have the GG4s. The GG4s. Hey, what's GG stand for? That's the ghost, ghost glass. glass. We both did that at the same time. Jinx. Just to be clear. Hey, Eric, what's mead mean? Man, I love... It's a type of beer. I rose up in the morning and I felt a dire need to dream away the dreary day and now become a mead. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why it's on the true audio box, but... It's an older beer, is what it there is. There we go. I am so sorry, Jimmy and Chase, but I <laughs> literally called you guys today for pointers, and nobody told me about this mead thing, so. Overall, box looks great on this. Um, this is something that could be retail, could be in the trucks. Yep. Uh, just something to point out, these are sold as an each. Mm -hmm. uh, these are a high-end speaker to the point where the GG being glass, or fiberglass speakers, right? These, these are a very high-quality, high-end. I know you know this, so I'll give you the softball. Oh, Why boy. are they ghosts? Right, they goes. That's oh, the white material on there. So beauty of that, obviously, you look up through the grill. You don't see any of the black speaker backing behind that grill. It gives you a very, very, very clean look. Yeah, we probably should have started with these are in-ceiling speakers. Uh, the you know GG is the ghost glass, and they also actually the six is the size. Um, they do make them in all different shapes and sizes. Kind of coming here for you guys. Uh, I do have a pair of, or a set of these in my house. Um, the biggest difference is on a white ceiling when you've got a go series speaker, you do have the white grill, but you don't see that kind of black hue behind it. It's actually just a nice, clean, solid white. Yeah. I think it's it's a really smart move on their part. It's, it's a fantastic sounding speaker, but actually the look and appeal, right? There's a zero bezel on it, and then you just have that, that really nice, solid white. Uh, blends in beautifully with any white ceiling, which, to be honest, most ceilings are going to be white that you're doing. That's right. Well. That's right. What you got, and True Audio, obviously, they make a ton of different products, ton of different in-ceiling speakers. In the Ghost category, there's three different variants, right? So they do have the GG, they have the GC, and then the GP, right? So you've got the Poly, you've got the Carbon, uh, and then you've got the Glass, and they make it in the four, six, eight, and a dual tweeter option. So you can really round out a complete house with every size and uh, every quality you want. This is their instruction guide and user manual, gives you all the features and information, tells you that they're capable of doing up to 125 watts, gives you the different speaker options. Um, one of the cool things about this, by the way, I think you're popping it out there, it does come with the round magnetic grill, but you can slap a square magnet grill on this too. So a lot of the designers are very particular about whether or not they've got the round grill or the um, square. or the square ones. What are the uh, ears on this temple for, Drew? What do so you use you, those for? What do you use the ears for? Yeah. What are these for? When you're going to put it up the cut out. It's easy to hold. Yeah. You, so you put your fingers in here and hold yeah, it? Is that, is that what you do? It's the other way. Like this? Isn't that what it's for? What's it for? I'm not sure. Yeah, I think it's to make it easy to hold. Do you? I thought it was to uh, give a rudder to the frisbee when you toss it. Oh. When on his weathered face, struggles he hopes will help him find a better place. That was a good throw. <laughs> that was a good one. I wish you guys could see how far that really went. Yeah. What do you, you got? got there? You got the grill, you got the dampener behind it, right? Uh, and the white and the black, basically, so that de depending on the type of ceiling that you've got and the color pattern that you've got, you have the ability to darken it out a little bit. That's a really nice touch, actually, yeah. to include both of those. It is a nice piece, so if your customer wants that kind of that darker shadow, they can have it again, or they can do the true white, which is what I have in mind. Don't mind the loud noises over there. Don't throw that. Noises. Don't throw that. Throw this. Don't throw Ooh. it. Whoa, that is nice. That is nice looking. Is nice. I hope you guys can see that from above. Ooh, magnets. Oh, boy. <laughs> hey. We've got magnets here. That's right. Hopefully you can see that from above, because that's a nice looking speaker. Comes with the paint guard right here, right? To guard yeah. the paint. It's a great piece. Uh, I actually like the tweeter bridge. God, um, that is nice. It's just a nice kind of uh, sexy look for technology, you know? Yep, so you can see it's got the swiveling tweeter on here, right? That is the one-inch titanium tweeter on there. Um, and, um, man, I, I love every time I look at this, the white on the inside, it's it's not like anything you normally see. It's got a lot of heft to it. Yep. Uh, the gold binding posts, uh, heavy-duty copper, heavy-duty magnet on this. It's we've got a lot of heft to it. We've talked about it before. The weight seems to kind of usually indicate some of the overall quality, and this has got that good feel to it for a technology. Um, Absolutely. The binding post, always a good touch on the speakers. I'm going to kind of hold it up. Maybe you'll be able to see it there. The carbon fiber look um, that is in here is just fantastic. The speaker is just incredible. I love the 
crossover. So mm -hmm. after you install it, you mm -hmm. can actually adjust your treble and bass. Uh, those switches are here. Uh, if you can't see them from the top here. Um, the other thing I like four dog ears instead of the six, right? So some speakers are going with six dog ears, which again, just ends up being more time up in the ceiling where you're holding this thing, trying mm -hmm. to get it set in. They've got four uh, strategically placed throughout so you get a nice secure connection. Um, and again, just an overall gorgeous looking speaker, right? That's right, that's right. Yeah, give us a ring. We can help you guys match up any of these speakers to the room and in the environment that you're in. That's one of the cool things True Audio does. Every type of speaker, all the composite, all the different materials are actually meant for different types of room, whether or not it's carpeted or hardwood flooring, tile, that kind of stuff. So we can help out with that as well. Yeah, I'm a true believer, right? The speaker sounds great, looks great, uh, phenomenal piece. And then again, I, I, I always love the zero bezel, right? So when it's on top of the speaker, you don't have Super that clean around look. it. It's yeah. just a very clean, very clear look for you guys. So um, big shout out and thank you to the guys over at True Audio, right? For giving Thanks, us guys. This, technically giving you this. I know there's only one here because they're sold as an each, but they gave us two. That's right. So we're raffling off. Oh, they get two? They get the two. full pair? They get two. Oh, man. That was nice of us, right? Because if you got one in-ceiling speaker that wasn't a dual tweet. That would be a really good sales strategy. I take it back, you get one. And then you got to buy one. We'll give you two. Eric Sapp, we'll give you two. That makes me happy. Please like, subscribe, follow. Don't make fun of us. We have, uh, we're very sensitive. Was that yeah. the order? Yeah. Is I'm it? bald with big ears and Drew calls it out all the time. It makes me very upset. Oh, these are they funny. <laughs> I don't think I have big ears. Turn your head sideways. Whose ears are bigger? You have satellite issues. I was just hoping you wouldn't look at me. Yeah. Turn that way. Hey, buddy. Hey. How do we get these things to seven minutes every <laughs> single time? I don't uh, understand. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Guys, thank you very much for watching. We're going to go ahead and cut it out here. We're going to leave. We'll see you next time. See you, bye. Bye-bye. He's gone.